What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be taking these three discs today and seeing how they fly. So like I said in the intro, we are doing a review today. This is the Insanity from uh, Axiom Discs. Couldn't remember if it's MVP or Axiom. I've got three of them here. I've got um, a Fission, uh, maybe Plasma, I don't know. And then I've got a Proton Plastic one. The numbers are 95, negative two, 1.5. We're gonna see how these things fly. Profile of them, fairly flat. Here's the rim. Yep, meanie. Really comfortable feeling disc in hand. Um, I've been really curious to try the higher speed discs from uh, over mold, so I'm excited. Let's get into it. All right, so these Insanities, they are nine speeds. They have a negative two turn. Um, at least that's what it says on them. Uh, I'm gonna stay just power grip with these for right now, because that's probably the way I would be throwing them. Um, I'm not gonna go any crazy power right now. I wanna try to make sure I release these all on the same angle. I'm pretty sure this one has a touch more stability. So we will see, but I'm just gonna slight highs of release, I think, with them. This one's a fission, so we'll go fission next. there I don't know if I threw that one flatter or if I just got a better rip on it that one flipped up a little bit more and turned a little bit when I thought that one was gonna be the most stable we got those some more so what we're gonna do next is take the insanity I'm gonna throw it a little bit harder and just see what kind of flights we can get out of this I don't know if I'm gonna aim for a certain release or not I'm just gonna throw them That had so much promise in it until it kept turning. We'll go fission next. Oh my God. Dude, they look so good out of hand. And then they continue to turn. I thought that was gonna kick up and just glide. Both of those have kind of fooled me. Last one. That was a pretty flat right there. That one didn't turn all the way over. Man, I swear. I wish those other ones had just a just a 0.5 more stability to get right out of that turn and that was going to the ground. Because those were flying so good out of hand. Man. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit these insanities again with some hyzer. Just see see how they go. Again. That was a solid flight right there. 
nothing much else to say about that. Good flip up, ride to the right for a little bit. That was nice. I'm gonna try to get like nose angle good, power pull through good on this one and everything. Just see how this flies. It's a really nice hyzer flip disc. It'll flip up and turn to the right. That one wasn't ever coming out of it. But it wasn't like insanely bad to wear a cut roll, I don't think. So that's pretty nice. Just another good usable uh, flight there. They are like better on like a hyzer release, I think, because if I threw those on any, I think they're gonna go into the ground. But outside that, I mean. I like it. Last few throws with this insanity, these insanities. I'm gonna try to make sure I get my form decent to see what happens with these. That was pretty solid. I'm gonna try another one. Try to make sure I like shoot my arm down a little bit and get it tucked really well. That was pretty nice. Those discs are pretty understable. Just need to highlight that. This is a pretty understable nine speed because it's flipping up and then turning for a bit. All right, last one here. Those are just nice. I'm liking the way those are flying right now. Um, getting, trying to control myself really good. And those are flipping up and going straight. Uh, in general, going in the same spots or direction depending on how much they turn. Very solid. The insanity. What can I say about this disc? I have to say it has some good flights to it, but at the same time, it can have a little bit of a touchy flight. Uh, I had like a, like a back and forth relationship with this thing testing it. It um, sometimes would flip up super straight, turn a little bit, come back out of it. Other times it would just flip right up, turn over, go right into the ground. Uh, I guess that's why you call it the insanity. That's what you go into whenever you're trying to figure it out really comfortable disc I think this would be a great disc for um, lower arm speed beginners or somebody uh, maybe potentially like a roller disc I don't know I don't think I ever tried a roller with it but um, it's got a it's got a good flight but it was a little touchy for me so it's not one I don't think that I would bag because it's just it was too finicky it, finic it was really finicky finicky, finicky finicky but very solid flyer and I could see the uses for it I could see maybe this would be a good disc to bag in the woods or something, but um, it's solid. It's about all I can say about it. Uh, Y'all want another throw with it? I'll give you two. I'll give you one forehand and one backhand. Probably the best throw of the day with that disc. This point. There we go. Very finicky on the higher speed, but man, was that last backhand really nice. That's all we got. Till next time. Peace.